Health officials have guaranteed that the rate of COVID-19 patients requiring critical care remains within the sector's capacity to manage. At news time, only one of the 331 active cases in care were listed as critical after two patients had succumbed. Ensuring adequate medical equipment is one of the measures taken to avoid overwhelming scenarios. We've increased the ventilator capacity to manage COVID-19. We have 24 new ventilators um, and also the other oxygen machines that's, that's being used as well. Um, for COVID-19 generally, in terms of the percentage, it's 5% of cases that usually needs um, critical care within your, your hospital. The clinical team, they're monitoring the, the situation in terms of setup. Um, there, we always ensure that we have extra um, ventilators prepared just in case. St. Lucia's 9th and 10th cases of COVID-19 related deaths are female nationals aged 71 and 63 years old. Both were in care at the time of their passing this week. Meanwhile, health officials confirmed 42 new cases of infection and 58 recoveries on the 21st of January 2021. The steady rates of recovery are a great relief to the sector. However, officials have instituted a management system to avoid burdening the health sector. This includes permitting self-isolation. With the increasing number of cases, we have taken a policy to allow isolation at home for persons who meet the criteria and are asymptomatic or very mild. The capacity to be able to keep, and these are mild and asymptomatic um, persons, most of them, we only have one person in critical care. Um, notwithstanding, persons who have moderate or don't have the conditions at home for isolation, we keep those within the hospital setting. So the, the patients that we have at the respiratory hospital, the majority of them do not actually need hospital care. They're there for isolation because they don't have safe isolation conditions at home. We're also using some um, guest houses and inns to house some of those positive patients. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George.